Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you a DIY project as well as a super easy recipe, some fun and easy chalk art that you can do with your kiddos. So go ahead and grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage and let me share too this quick little bit of encouragement. Today's prayer, let your light shine before others. That is Matthew 5.16. I wanna encourage you all to continue to let your light shine we're going to all get through this together. I'm going to be your ray of sunshine for today and let's jump into it. Hey guys, welcome back to another DIY project. Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home. And in today's video, I'm taking my camera outside. I'm gonna take you guys outside. I have this old dresser that has been sitting in my garage. It's at, It was actually headed for the dumpster and I dragged it home. It was a free um, little dresser that I found at the thrift store. And then I saw Mr. Romantic set it by the curbside and I rescued it once again. So I've had to be rearranging my house lately to kind of accommodate um, everybody being at home. And so I um, am going to be using this dresser that I'm gonna be redoing and putting it in my laundry room. So I'll share with you guys how I'm gonna do that. I'm not even for sure what my plans are for this. I just know it needs some paint and some TLC. So let's go ahead and pop out here and I'm gonna share with you guys the dresser we're gonna work on. So here is what this dresser looked like before. It was literally on the curbside waiting for the trash man to come pick it up. My husband must have thought that it just had no hope, but I rescued it. I also drug it home from the thrift store originally. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it down really good. It was a bit dusty from sitting out in our garage. So I just used some of my little all-purpose cleaner and I cleaned it out really well. And I will tell you even one of the drawers was um, broken. So one of the drawers doesn't even have a bottom, but I'm really just gonna use it for the top part. So I wanna do this really cool little trick. This is a trick that I call lace painting. I'm just taking this piece of thrift store lace. It's just an old curtain. I'm going to take this 2x spray paint and I'm just going to spray paint on top of the lace. And so the drawer underneath, because it's dark colored, is really going to show through really well. And I do one generous coat of spray paint and I'm outside. You can see the wind is blowing away from me. Um, and I also do cover my mouth when I spray paint. So here is how it looks. Now you guys might want to tape your lace down kind of on the underneath parts, but mine was fine. Um, so there is the first drawer and then here's the second drawer. Again, I just lay the lace down on top of my little drawer here. I give it a nice good coat of spray paint, wait a couple of minutes and then voila. I think this is so magical. I don't know why every time I do this project, I just think this is so fun. So all of a sudden now this drawer has a new life. It looks creative. It looks fabulous. In my opinion, it's just going to really doll up my little laundry room. And so now I'm going to go in with some of this Kilns chalk paint. It's not my favorite chalk paint. Definitely. Um, I don't really recommend this brand, but it's what I have on hand. I'm not going out and buying any new supplies. So this is what I'm using. So I did just go ahead and begin giving it a nice good coat of chalk paint. I ended up using, I believe two coats on this project and it coated it fairly well. So I'm just using a regular old brush that we had picked up a while back from Walmart and I'm out side. So this is in the sun. So it dried rather quickly and it just go ahead and begin to chalk paint and have fun with your painting project. Now you could also just do this project with regular paint, but the chalk paint is a little bit easier um, to do when you have kind of a slick surface because originally this did have a bit of a slick surface. So 
So now you guys can see I'm just finishing up this first coat. And again, I do love using the chalk paint. Now I also have made homemade chalk paint before. You take one cup of regular um, latex paint and a half a cup of baking soda and you can mix that up really well. So if you maybe didn't have the chalk paint on hand and you wanted to DIY your own chalk paint, that would be great. I know also people use plaster of Paris, but again, I'm encouraging you guys just use what you have. If you don't have um, stuff for this project, you can just save this video for a later date and then attempt it then. But I was so excited to go ahead and get this started because this is a project I've been putting off. If you guys are like me, you're probably trying to get projects done that you've been putting off for a while. So now this is some polyurethane. This is um, a day later. I did have to let the chalk paint dry really well. And I also ended up having to let my polyurethane dry in between coats. So this is the first coat of the polyurethane. Again, I think I picked this up at a garage sale um, last summer. I'm happy to find a use for it and I'm just using a brush to apply the polyurethane with. Um, the polyurethane is gonna seal this off because I wanna use this in my laundry room. So here is how the dresser looked once I was finished. Now, again, I still have to leave it outside. I'll give you guys an updated kind of show of where I'm gonna put it in my laundry room. I'm gonna tidy up my laundry room and kind of show it off to you guys. And I also have to put a couple sealant coats on top of the polyurethane. So I need to put like two more coats probably because I'm gonna have my soap dispenser on there. Um, and if you guys saw my laundry room makeover project, I put all of my soap in like this really cool little jar so anyway, but I think this is so fun and fabulous. And listen, this piece was headed for the dumpster and you guys saw how terrible it was. The condition was just awful, but look at how adorable this looks. I added a couple little glass knobs. Again, these were in my stash um, and I was just so excited to share this with you guys. I hope it gives you some inspiration. And now I I'm going to have my daughter do a DIY for you all. So I know a lot of you all are at home with your kids or your grandkids. She is a crafty little kiddo. Um, and so she's gonna share with you guys some really cool chalk art that you guys can do outside of your home or just with some chalk on a sidewalk. So now we are gonna create this fun DIY with chalk. So first I'm just like putting tape on this little um garden stone and we painted it white earlier and so i'm just putting tape on it and i'm doing a whole bunch of different shapes you can do different patterns or you can do letters or words you can do whatever you want but i am just doing like geometric shapes and this is a really fun diy and it's really easy So now that you have all of your tape on, I'm just taking chalk and I'm going in one of the little places and then I'm rubbing the chalk in so it doesn't fade away as fast. And then I'm just taking a bunch of different colors and I'm doing the same and I'm spacing them out. You can do them um, all the same or all different colors, whatever you feel. And so right now I'm using orange, but then I'm going to switch and it's going to look really cool. So now that you have all of your chalk on, I'm just putting some extra little lines 
and my little squares to make them more fun and I'm blowing away the extra chalk so it doesn't go into the other squares and now this part's really satisfying I'm just peeling off the tape and I'm gonna throw it away later and now it has this really cool look and it's like geometric and now you're done So now we're going to be making a cucumber salad. So I just took these cucumbers and I peeled them with the peeler and now I'm just chopping them up and I'm chopping them up, chopping them up pretty good and then I'm going to put them in the bowl. So for this cucumber salad, we used several different cucumbers that had been sitting in the fridge. They needed to get something done with them. And we're also going to add in some onion. I would say this is probably about a third of a cup of onion. And then again, we're using up these tomatoes that needed to get used up as well. My daughter did the salad all on her own. She did all of the cutting and she is 13. So she's I trust her with a knife. I was right next to her. So, but just note to self, like if you guys are doing this, definitely be sure to supervise if your kiddos are using a knife, but super fun on this one. And I'm so thankful to have time teaching her how to make different recipes. So today we did the cucumber salad. And then I also taught her how to make my pantry chicken salad, which I shared with you guys a while back. So next to this, we are going to add some of this oil and vinegar. It's just Newman's own oil and vinegar dressing. This is what I had in my fridge. You guys could also make your own oil and vinegar dressing. Um, but a lot of times, like my mom used to make this cucumber salad with um, just vinegar and oil. I can't even remember what she used, but I used a pre-mixed salad dressing um, with the Newman's own oil and vinegar. And then I like to squirt some ranch into mine. Um, I, just, I just like it to be a little bit more creamy. Comment and let me know if you guys have any fresh summer salads. Drop a recipe down below. I would love to hear what you guys love to make for summer, but this is one of my summer favorites. It's also really pretty healthy as far as um, just, you know, being a quick tree. I like to store mine in the refrigerator. I do add a little bit of salt and pepper as well, but it's super delicious and pretty healthy. And I've even added in some cheese or some turkey to make it like a little bit more hearty if I'm you know, if the guys are going to be eating the, so give it a good mix up and then you have a fun and fabulous little summer salad. <laughs> so delish. So here is what it looks like all yummy and delicious. You can pop it into a bowl. I popped it into the refrigerator. We're going to nibble on it tomorrow. And then I also have been promising you guys, I'm going to share you guys with what's going on in my yard. This is a peach tree that my son planted years ago, and it's just beginning to get its little blooms on it. It's not a super huge pr producer of peaches, but it is fun to have in the front yard. I also have my little jonquils. I shared with you guys that they bloomed, and now I have these little beautiful little periwinkle ground cover flowers blooming but the biggest show right now in my front yard I've been sharing this on my Instagram story is my red bud tree it is so beautiful this time of year every time I go outside and see it it just gives my heart so much hope and so much joy so I had to share the beauty of this red bud tree with you all and also I don't know if you all are noticing but the birds are singing so much right now with spring being here um, we get out and are taking walks we actually took two walks today and I've been sharing with you guys little sneak peeks of my neighborhood um, on my Instagram story so if you guys follow me over there you'll definitely see just some of my little behind the scenes that I have going on. I also shared with you guys how to do this beautiful Easter garland. I just thought that this would light up my neighborhood and it would give us all so much holiday cheer getting ready for Easter. Um, just trying to stay positive through this time and just praying for you guys and hoping you guys are also staying as positive as possible. Um, and you're doing well and you're staying safe. Um, so I love y'all. Thank you for being here.
Thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous Trash to Treasure makeover adventure. It is a true blessing and an honor to have you all here. I hope you all are hanging in there, staying safe and staying at home. Um, we are staying at home. I'm crafting and decorating using everything that I already have on hand. So I want to encourage you all to do the same. Um, we are going to look forward to the future with as much joy as possible. And remember also, if you need some prayer requests, drop them down below. This is a praying community and it just feels good to kind of get it out there and get it off your chest if you need to. And um, just know that we're all together in this. And also, I wanted to invite you guys over to my Lovey's Romantic Home Facebook group page. It's totally free to join, and it's just a great place for everyone to connect and share photos of their home decor and their DIY projects. I know so many of you all have said that you're crafting your way through all of this, so I encourage you all to keep up the good work crafting and decorating. I think that was my cat, Tinky, that just came in. Um, we are getting ready to eat some breakfast for dinner. It's one of our favorite treats. My kiddos have been riding bikes today, um, so that's been fun. Um, but anyway, I just want to invite you guys to join over there. It's free again, and it's just a fun way to connect. I just think it's good to connect and be able to chat with one another um, and all that good stuff. So also, I have Lily's Romantic Home Instagram page. I share a good morning coffee with you all every morning. I'm a total morning person, and I kind of like to do some behind the scenes of just what I have going on in my home. We've been working on some painting projects. I can't wait to share that with you guys. I've been trying to re redo my craft room. Um, it seems like my craft room is always a work in progress and I just can't ever really get a good handle on it, but I'm really trying again um, for the millionth time. So I just want to thank y'all for being there. Know that I love you and I'm going to hug all of your hearts so tight. Um, I have so many more fun projects. I'm just really getting creative right now, um, trying to keep my mind off things and trying to stay busy. So I can't wait for the next video. And I love y'all. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.